Hey guys, GW Smallwood, the Shaving Disciple. Welcome back. And I got something special for you guys today. Something I've actually been waiting for a while. Uh, the Tweeds of March continues with a new entry today. Um, I went ahead and picked up Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements uh, Tweed. Um, I got the soap in the CK6 formula. Uh, I actually got in early enough to get the nice holographic label. So that's pretty cool. Um, I also got the aftershave cologne, the beard oil, which I'm also going to use as a pre-shave oil, and the star jelly. So I'm going to be using those today along with the uh, Phoenix Artisan and Accoutrements uh, Copper Double Open Comb Ascension. Just felt kind of fitting to use this for the first time with my uh, PAA razor, and I'll be using my Wild West Brushworks Jade uh, brush with a 26 millimeter Maggard synthetic in there. So stick around and we'll come back for the shave. So the pre-shave oil, I literally take one, two, three, just a few drops of the beard oil and rub it in my hands and then rub it on the scalp and the face. Ooh, that smells really, really nice. Uh, so the, the, the purpose of the pre-shave oil is just to soften and condition the skin to make sure the skin's not overly dried out. You don't want dry skin when you're scraping a blade over it. That's how you get cuts and nicks. Um, so you don't want enough to leave your skin feeling oily and slimy, which this uh, like I said, I used about three drops there, and my skin feels nice and soft. It does not feel oily. Uh, it's not a lather booster. It's not a slickness adder. It is just to soften and condition the skin. That's what I use it for. So that's pre-shave. So I'm going to go ahead and start lathering up here. So the soap is actually a green color, which is kind of cool. Uh, very very green Irish Tweedy, which is what the Twee uh, scent is based off of, if I didn't mention that already. Off the puck, I would say the scent is medium. Um, it's, it's not overly strong, but PAA soaps tend to, the scent strength tends to increase as you lather them. Uh, Douglas is also one that recommends splashing a little bit of water in there beforehand to let the scent kind of bloom a little bit. Um, I, I haven't been doing that this month with these Green Irish Tweed soaps just because I've been scooping just in case I want to uh, sell them or use them in giveaways in the future. Uh, this one will definitely be staying in the den, but just to keep everything equal in my comparison of all the Green Irish Tweed scents, I am going to be scooping a little bit of this into a bowl and lathering in the bowl. So the CK6 is actually a pretty soft soap. This is my first time using the CK6. I bought a couple this month. Um, I got the Irish Springs and the Baileys, uh, but I haven't used them yet because I've been doing my Tweeds of March where I've been using all Green Irish Tweed scents. Uh, so I'm just gonna rub the remainder of the soap that's left on my hands on my scalp. Don't wanna waste it, so that's just kind of a little extra pre-shave action. Got my brush soaked. Shake out all the excess water. Now this is a really soft soap, so I'm actually going to start with a little bit less water. And we'll see how it goes. So like I said, I've been really, really looking forward to Phoenix's take on Green Irish Tweed. I've seen this for the last few years, but I hadn't jumped on it yet. And this year when I decided to do my entire month of Green Irish Tweed shaves, I knew I'd be getting this. So I jumped on it as soon as it was released. And it's already working into kind of a pasty lather, which is what you want to begin with. So 
I don't know if you can see that. It's kind of just slowly adding water. At this point, most of the soap has been loaded into the brush. Let's see if I can get some good camera shots of that. And at this point, it's just adding water to start to get the lather to build. All right, I think that's pretty good, at least in the bowl. I'm gonna do my method I've been using here recently where I'm gonna go ahead and slowly build the lather on my dome now. So this is what the soap looks like before taking it to the dome. So it looks nice and glossy and slick. You can see it's well hydrated. Um, it's not bubbly, so it's not overly airy. It's holding up well with the water. Um, like I said, this is my first time using CK6 soap. Um, so we'll see how it goes. Uh, this soap is vegan. Um, all of Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement soaps are. And this CK6 formula is their premium formula, so it has tons of extra butters and oils added to it uh, above the basic CK1 formula. So this is I've tried the CK1, I have a couple of CK1 soaps, and I enjoy them. Um, where I have always found them lacking a little bit is in post shave feel. Um, so we'll see how the CK6 compares to that. You can see it's pretty pasty still, so I need to add a little bit more water here. Kind of agitate a little bit that water worked into the soap and get all that soap out of the center of the brush. So this particular soap, uh, like I said, it's a premium formula. It is $24.95 for five ounces of soap, which is a fair price on our cost chart, uh, just barely at $4.99 an ounce. But if you purchase the soap and aftershave together, and you buy the bundle, um, it does knock $5 off the purchase price. So that puts it a lot more solidly in the fair price category, uh, which is what I did with this particular soap. I don't always, sometimes I just get the soap. Um, I didn't get the aftershave with the Baileys or the, or the, uh, Irish Springs, but I did with this. Scent is, is really, really, really nice. Uh, really clean, uh, very much Irish Spring. Uh, so some of the ones I've been kind of testing and working with this month, um, they're green scents, but they, they've had something missing that I wouldn't, I couldn't really truly call them a green Irish tweed scent. Uh, this is not one of those. This. This is definitely reminiscent of a green Irish tweed. Um, like I said, scent strength is still right about medium, which is okay. I prefer stronger scents, so I would love it if it was a little bit heavier, but um, it's still very nice. I can smell it. I can enjoy it. This, this soap actually takes a lot more water than I anticipated, and I think a lot more than the CK1 formula does. So I know I'm taking a long time to lather here, but this is the first time I've used this CK6, so I wasn't sure what to expect. And since I am evaluating all of these Green Irish Tweed soaps to do a best of video down the line. I want to make sure I take the time to get this lather right so that I can evaluate it properly.
I think we're about there. So let's see if I can get this on camera. It's very, very shiny, very, very dense. So, so far so good. It's making a really, really nice, creamy, dense, slick looking lather. All right, so we're gonna go to the Ascension. Um, so this, um, I did a full review, uh, review on the uh, Copper Ascension. Um, I'll throw a link to that up here. Um, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it other than to say I've got a second use Persona Red in here and I've got the adjustment backed off uh, probably close to a half a turn. So up pretty aggressive, which is where I tend to like my razors. Um, it's not loose, the handle is securely on there. Um, the adjustment, the, uh, the washer on there is what allows you to get a little bit more than that quarter turn that's advertised on the website. So that's the, this is the only reason, the only razor I use those washers with. All right, so let's go ahead and, like I said, I'll try and get a good picture of the lather for you. It's, it, it looks really, really nice. So we're gonna go ahead and get started here. I've got, I've actually got a little bit extra growth today. I've got three days growth. Um, I was due to shave on Friday, but it's been a very busy work week for me. And I knew I was doing this Green Irish Tweed shave, and I decided I wanted to do it today instead of Sunday, and I'm a skip day shaver, so I decided to skip shaving yesterday. So I have a, an extra day's growth. Which you can probably see on my face much more than on my head. So it feels really, really nice so far. The razor's gliding well. No issues so far. Oh, I did catch myself a little bit there. I've been fighting some some breakouts here. I've, uh, for one thing, I've been using a lot of these boutique -y Green Irish Tweed soaps, which are olive oil based, and I don't think my, I don't think my skin takes kindly to heavy olive oil based soaps. Um, but then I broke, kind of broke one of my rules, and I ended up having to buy a new face wash and beard wash and balm at the same time, um, not, none of which I had used before. So I suspect that one or both of those aren't agreeing with my skin or my skin just hasn't adjusted yet. So I had, had a few breakouts, but nothing major. But you can see by the little bump there that I hit, you do have to you do have to be a little bit mindful of the ascension when it's up at its higher levels. Yeah, it's a it's a really nice soap so far. Like I said, the difference to me is going to be. How does it feel post shave? You know, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't really care about post shave too much, because they shower before they shave, and so post shave they just rinse everything off and add the and hit it with the after shave or the bombs anyways. Um, I do not. I shower after I shave. And so post shave is kind of important to me. I like, like being able to have a little soap on there. Helps with bleeding stop. Um, I like being able to have a nice feeling post shave. I'm gonna go ahead and freshen up the lather in the back there. Make sure it hasn't dried out at all. 
And I have a feeling this soap could take a lot more water than I've given it so far and still hold up. It's not it's not dry or anything, so there's plenty of water in it and it's feeling really good. So this is a seasonal soap. So if you if you are interested at all in picking this up, you need to do it quickly. Oh, got another bump there. Um The, uh, it's one of Douglas's spring March scents, so it only comes out in this time frame, and I think after the 30th, whatever stock is remaining is all that he's selling until March next year, so um, if it's something you're interested in, then you better jump on it quick, because there's not much time left in the month. The razor and the soap are both working well. So I've been thinking about doing something a little bit differently with my videos going forward. Um, this channel is one big experiment for me. And part of what I'd like to do is I want to make sure it's useful for everybody. And so I was thinking about the way I consume the shaving videos. And there are people that I like to watch because I like their personalities and I've developed kind of a, an acquaintanceship with them. And there are others that I watch their videos when I see a product that I might be interested in. Um, and I know sometimes it can be difficult to watch a 20 minute, half hour video just to get somebody's final thoughts and take on a product they're using. So I'm thinking about going forward, doing my weekend shave videos in full the way I am right now. But then doing a shorter edit that I can release later in the week that's kind of a five to ten minute take on whatever I want to highlight for that weekend shave. So for this week that would obviously be the Twee line for Phoenix Origin and Accoutrements. So you guys let me know, what do you think? You think that's a good idea? I, th I think it would be useful for people who, um, who aren't fully invested in me as a person yet and don't necessarily want to sit through a full shave, but I can give them the information they came to the video looking for in a much more timely manner that way. So we'll try it, see how it works. See if people seem to enjoy that. Alright, so that's the head shave. And everything seemed to go very, very well. Soap performed well. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is the winner of last week's, uh, winners of last week's brush giveaways. Um, I announced them in last week's videos and uh, Faiz, 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 one of those two, um, he, he's contacted me and I've sent his brush out. Um, Readyland, who won the Badger brush, has not contacted me yet. So Readyland, if you're watching this video, uh, you did win the badger brush that I was giving away, so you need to send me an email. Um, my email is in the link below and the contact info in the description. Um, if 
Readyland for some reason does not contact me in about a week, um, I will probably roll that brush into my next giveaway for next month. So, Readyland, you won the brush as long as you get back to me in the next week. So yeah, this is a really, really nice scent. I, I can tell you of the, I don't know, what's, what's today, the 27th of March? So today would be like the 13th Green Irish Tweed Soap I've used this month. Um, there are pretty much all the boutique ones, which were five or six, um, that have turned into shower bars because I didn't enjoy them very much. They just didn't hold water well. And they weren't very fun to use. Um, all of those have turned into shower bars, so those won't be sticking around. There were, so far, probably about five others that were okay, but I didn't really love them. They're just kind of average. Scent strength was a little too low, or the soap was okay, but not a, not a great performer. Um, this particular one will be sticking around. The scent is good enough, and even if the post shave isn't significantly better than the CK1, this soap is still performing very, very well. And so this this will be a keeper. This one will stay in the den. So this being their premium formula, it is more expensive per ounce than their CK1 formula. And I know CDB and I, th I think Brian over at uh, the Wet Shave Experience, I think both of them have said they kind of don't know that there's enough difference for them in the two soaps to make it worth the extra cost. So we'll see. Like I said, for me, the difference would be post-shave feel. If this feels significantly better post-shave, um, then it would be a winner in my book. It has a bit of an inning growing there too. All right, well that's the shave. Everything seemed to go very, very well. The soap seemed to perform very, very nicely. So, very close shave. Knocked down that three days growth with the uh, copper ascension. Everything feels nice and smooth. So, I'm going to go ahead and hit the shower. And I'll come back for post-shave and let you guys know how it went. Alright guys, so we're back for post-shave. So, using the Tweed. Aftershave cologne, so uh, Phoenix Arts and Accoutrements kind of prides themselves on this being an aftershave cologne and not a just a splash. They want their scents to stick around kind of all day. Uh, so the way Douglas advises you use this, it has the glass restrictor in there built into the bottle. As you turn it upside down and you let it flow. That was a little bit too much. I think maybe I had too much tilt to the bottle. But hey, 
We're going all out with the Chui scent today, so. Smells really, really nice. Uh, dries down quickly, it is an alcohol. Alcohol-based splash. Has, uh, has some other interesting stuff in there. Has uh, wormwood and silk and chlorophyll. Chlorophyll? More like borophyll. So, interesting stuff. Hmm, my label actually started to, hmm, this must not be waterproof labels. Interesting. So, splash, smells really, really nice, just like the soap did. And I'm gonna go ahead and top that off with the star jelly. So this is actually the first star jelly I've got in the pump. That's probably way more than enough, but It'll work. So I actually prefer the star jelly to a bomb. Um, I think it dries smoother and less slimy without being overly sticky. I find a lot of the bombs that are heavy in the alcohol content end up being kind of sticky. Um, this is not. This leaves your skin feeling nice and soft and smooth without being oily. I really, really like it. And then we'll finish off with just a few drops of the beard oil. And that smells nice. So the scent on the green, uh, on the twee uh, from green, from Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements, uh, scent's great. Scent's definitely a winner for me. Um, I, I don't know if the post shave was noticeably different than the CK1 for me. Um, like I said, this is the first time I've used the CK6 formula. I have a couple more soaps that are gonna be coming up in video soon. So we'll see as I get to those if I kind of have the same thoughts or not. Um, it might actually warrant doing a side-by-side. -side. What do you guys think? Should I do a side-by-side -side video of CK1 versus CK6. Um, I don't know if I've ever seen anybody do a side-by-side -side soap shave off before, so maybe it'd be worth some, doing something like that. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I said, Twi, um, it's, it's only available through the end of the month, so if you guys are interested in it, pick it up. I'll have links to everything below. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.